What's up, guys? Uh, in the last episode, we pretty much just uh, welded the two sides of the roof and that. Anyway, what you can see me doing now is I'm cutting up a piece of 44 millimeter stainless tube. So this is for the wheels. So I've just cut four pieces at a roundabout, you know, 30 mil wide. And um, uh, oh yeah, what I'm doing in this clip is I cut some smaller tube just to play around with wheel sizes, and uh, I'm just putting a big taper on it on the edge so that it um, looks like it's really tucking in the mud guards but um, I decided to opt out of using the smaller wheels due to the fact that it was too hard to make the centers for those and I used the bigger ones out of the 44 millimeter tube. Hey guys, just uh, coming to work early to finish the um, finish the car that I'm making and it is freezing like it's so cold so I wanted to weld something heavy to make it a bit warmer but all we've got up to so far is um, <clears throat> just like the roof and the, the sides kind of and I've just been toying around with with wheels. I had these big ones but I think it looked a bit too big like that's now and before they kind of look like drag wheels they're just a bit too big to get in there so yeah yes i've got this in like super super high speed because it took me ages anyway that piece of stainless there is just like your brush finish to a 1.6 millimeter plate uh, all I've done really is punched a hole and then scribed a circle uh, and then like that's for the because they're getting welded to the inside of the tube to get the crosshairs is in two 90 degree lines through the circles which will allow me to symmetrically create the shape of the centers which I'm modeling off the wheels that are on my Mark II Escort panel van. I don't know what they're off, I think they're off a Cortina but I love those wheels and that's why I chose to use them. So the black bits are the bits that I'll obviously drill out and die grind into shape. Like I said, super high speed because this took me quite a long time. So once you finish doing that, just um, get the, well what I did was got the angle grinder and cut out the pieces as tight as I could to the circle, um, ready to be linished into their finished shape and yeah Bob is your uncle so we're just doing that now and then yep and then all I'm doing there is just slowly but surely grinding them all back to being round there's probably a lot quicker way to do this but that's how I did it go Tacking the centers of the wheels into the rims using the TIG welding process, mainly because it's such a fine um, weld to, you know, with the 1.6 millimeter stainless. Um, so as you can see there, yeah, just um, got the torch and then in, uh, putting the filling rod in with the other hand. Uh, this process took quite a while, but I think it's worth it after, after you weld it and it's got much of a smaller bead compared to rig welding, etc. Uh, yeah, so burned myself a few times doing this, but it was all worth it.
the next episode I'll show you how I made the uh, wheel arches suit the wheels. Um, I made them out of some mirror finish stainless that I found lying around so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, in, in this picture you can see that there's a hole in the bonnet. I decided to make it an FPOS machine at this point uh, for the square payment gateway to sit in. I'll show you a photo of that. I didn't get any footage of it though. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hit like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Uh, see you in the next episode. Peace. Thank you.